and I don't feel sane But you know for me sit tonight, I know go do I'm a game So I'm getting ready with the bottle of Bacardi Hi everybody, I'm Chinasa and you're watching Splash TV. We meet today, I'm very very delighted to be with him. He's, I'm a very very big fan. This is Obi Wan. Hey, hi there. So, so do you know you better? Um, uh, artist name Obiora Obi Wan. Uh, my full name is uh, Obiora Mokolabiago. As a tongue twister, if you can say it. And um, yeah, I'm one of the gospel artists right now. Fast and So I'm very, 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 very happy to welcome you back to the fair. Awesome. How does it feel to be back? Great. I mean, if you spent uh, five years somewhere, five years of your life somewhere, and then you've been away from the place for like 13 years, yeah. and then you come back to the place, so it's memories and nostalgia here and there, so it's been a wonderful experience. So, did you ever think you're going to be back here, like, talking to the younger students? Actually, uh, yes. Uh, a couple of years back, a couple of people had tried to bring me here. A couple of shows, but at least two, there were two attempts to bring me, but somehow we didn't do it for those particular events. They and um, what God has His ways is in that. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful. Thing. Thank you. So I had, I gathered information that you will start in the chess classes. You should aim to be successful, but not to be successful. Otherwise, you will be in your mind. I don't know. How did you feel? Like, how did you see her then? Oh, you know, we are all first year students, so. Um, uh, she wasn't the Shima Imande that she's now. She, she was just another first year student, and we're all acquaintances. You get to meet people in GS class and all that. So we, 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 we don't see you as uh, much, you know, but as we progress in life, and when you start hearing people's names, and, and they were like, oh, okay, I was with this person in class then. And um, for me, the significance of that is that the school is constantly needing to produce. Um, I, I think I'll use that word. <laughs> in all fields, in all fields uh, and all human endeavor, we will see more reliant or reliant doing something great and happy about that. Okay, I really, really have to ask this question. You guys get to run to the GS classes and everything like Um. I don't know, perhaps during your time now you run to GS classes yeah. or something like that, but. Uh, we, we're always early, we don't have to run if if it has to be 7 o'clock or whatever, we get up early and we, we, so we have to we don't wake up on time now <laughs> and that's why I have to run to the classes <laughs> so uh, we'll just um, and, and because it's GS class if you want to get a good seat, you better come on time so my time we were you know, I were first year students so we'll try and get to class as early as possible so a lot has happened like since smash it that was a very, 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 very good song. I loved it. So, and now you're a gospel singer. So yeah. it's one more space in the church. I got one again in 2008. Uh, but the first thing in the gospel that I know is I was already born again when I sang the Obi Wan. So I was dedicated to my fiance, who is my wife now. Um, uh, but my first album, I came out as a secular artist. And, after being in the entertainment industry and really seeing it for what it was, um, I, I felt the need to, uh, you know, really ask myself questions about my faith and my skill, what it's about. And in the process, I got born again, and I wanted to continue on the R&B path. So, uh, but uh, the deeper I got into the faith, the more clear I became that you know, God was calling me to, you know, submit my skills for. Gospel music, and which I eventually did after some struggle. So um, then I put out my first album. Then it had OP more and some songs like that. So a lot of people didn't really get it at that uh, point in time. But that's the way it's been, and that's what I've been doing for the past six years. So you're married and you yeah. have a child. Yeah. So how does it feel like being married to your music and then your wife? Ah. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, um, family, uh, we always come first. Uh, first of all, it's my relationship with God. That is above all. And uh, that relationship um, makes it important that I um, take good care of my family. I, I love my family, uh, which is my first ministry here. And then after my family, um, then I can talk about the music. If you, and, uh, if, if you mix it up, if you place the work of the ministry or the music or whatever ahead of family, uh, you, have, you probably will have an imbalance because I believe everybody's first uh, work ministry is to make sure that the family unit is, is okay and I'm doing great. So I don't feel the pressures because uh, they both complement each other. Uh, this one fits this one, that one fits that one, <laughs> spiritually and emotionally. So um, I don't have that, that tug. Let me say if, that's like a tug of war. Let me say if, if it was when I was in a probably secular or, or, and I didn't really understand it like that. You know, that time it was always like my music, my music, my music. And it's got like, I don't appreciate it any less, but you need to know what's important. So what has been your motivation both for both as a human being and as a role model to play to your enjoy it? Um, my motivation and inspiration is, is this calling that I'm in. I, I have a desire to bring a lot of things to the world. Whatever skills, talents and ambitions that we have, we can use it to travel on have a meaningful life, giving their all and their life to Christ. Um, so he inspires me in all that I do right now. Music and, and I have that body to, to let young people know it's all joy on this side, really. It's all joy on this side. And there are really no limits. The limits, people might talk about limits like me you're doing this type of music or like that, but I see all those limits in the physical. It's just freedom right about here and now. So what's your advice you're giving to anyone going into music or banking, being the two places you have experience? Passion is important. For any, anything you're not passionate about, um, you can't stay in it for long. And, uh, the, the true test of passion is how you react when the challenges come to you. If you don't, if you have a God-given dream and a God-given vision, you will be passionate about it. It's the, 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 and the question is, what do you do when the chips are down, when the plans are not going, you know, according to plan? Do you do you um, con do you continue to push? Can you be persistent? Can you enjoy what you're doing? Uh, despite the hardships and everything, you know, if you can, if you can bridge that, and in the face of difficulties and challenges, and even when you don't have any money, you're probably saying, you know what, I love this. This is what I love to do, and I will keep doing it. And it's very difficult in an environment like this, uh, the country we are in, the current state of the country. But if you can do that, uh, then that faith will break through the challenges, and you will get to your dream. So, this is Yen and this is Usuka. I can't let you go without talking about Oba. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was one of the first questions I asked when I had come because the person that brought me was like, ah, what about this place? What about that place? What about this place? Okay, I remember this place now. Oh, this place. That was a, then I now remember that I said, ah, what about Oba? <laughs> To be ah that is still there. Say after all these years, say it's still there as the backbone support of students in case in case of it in case the where everything is is down or but does not let you down. <laughs> uh, by the time you take one or two, I know Sukas or by is 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 kind of uh, it's kind of funny though. Uh, because at times, and we used to say, I don't know about you people now, I don't know your consumption habit. We used to say you can't do more than two. If you do more than two, you're going to sleep. sleep. <laughs> you're not going to do anything for the rest of the day. And at times, when do you know, you know students that time, we don't know how to 
might not really know how to, uh, not all students know how to manage their fonts well and everything. So in the middle of the semester, when everything is done, we're going to have a pop-up project. <laughs> that would be right to the end. So it's, um, you think we should do something about it. I don't know. Perhaps you should create a, a mascot or something. Because of has sustained a lot of students through the years. <laughs> Okay, so this is a new year, and what should we expect of you to do? Okay, I have a new album out. Yeah. We did test the fire, and uh, we're in the process of uh, producing the videos now. Uh, so she's fed the videos, fed the songs. That's very nice. So, what's your advice to us? Younger students are still here in this school, trying to survive and everything. You know, when you come to school, uh, and you first of all experience that freedom um, away from your parents, and you have some money in your pocket, and then your parents like this can, can be consuming, so to say, you can easily get carried away. And it's important that you studies first. When I was in school, we used to think of this class, okay, I just want to have it too. I don't really want you work. Okay, you're going to see your mates. And the people who used to think that they're so serious in school and everything, you will see the result of that seriousness. And people that were not so serious, you will see the result as well. But we all, there are mistakes here and there and everything, but from now you can get it right. That's what I'm saying. Put the first thing first. Put God first. Your education second. That's why you're here. And everything. So it was really, really, really awesome getting to meet you. I hope you come back again. Thirteen years is such a long time to be away from this place. Yes. I hope so. Ooh, ooh.